Now to your Capital Connection. Virginia officially has a new budget. Governor Glenn Youngkin signed the deal after months of disagreements in the General Assembly. The governor says tax relief, along with an additional $650 million for K-12 education, are proof when lawmakers come together, they can deliver for Virginians. Since it was a long wait for this budget, Governor Youngkin says he's already focusing on preparing next year's budget. I get to deliver it to a General Assembly and we get to lock arms again and have the opportunity to continue to build on the great momentum that we have collectively created over the last 20 months. Members of our House and Senate, Republicans and Democrats, let's keep going and let's do it faster. And what's included in next year's budget will depend on which party controls both the House and Senate after the November elections. And speaking of elections, there are a few important days you need to know about. The first day of in-person voting is next Friday. The deadline to register to vote is October 16th. You can still register and vote after that day, but you'll have to use a provisional ballot. The deadline to request a ballot mailed to you is October 27th. Meantime, presidential candidates could face headwinds in getting young people to turn out to vote next year. A new poll shows about half of younger Americans aren't motivated to vote in an upcoming election. The poll also finds about 45 percent believe the election won't impact their lives. Many on Capitol Hill are concerned this afternoon about the possibility of a government shutdown. Lawmakers are at odds over a dozen bills that have to be passed by the end of this month. Now, Congress is out of session until Monday for the Jewish holiday Rosh Hashanah. But House leaders agree they'll have their foot on the gas once they return. Nobody wins in a government shutdown. Nobody wins in a government shutdown. I've been here. And they spent the morning talking about shutting down the government, which will crash the economy and hurt everyday Americans. Now, should lawmakers fail, government agencies will be minimally staffed and some benefits like WIC and free school meals could be cut off. Most automatic government benefits like Social Security and Medicare will continue as normal because they have a separate funding stream. 